right? Maybe just the interest. Maybe. <laughs> On deck this week with bowl games and the college football championship matchup decided. We're playing college football trivia this Wednesday. That's going to be New Year's Day at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Let's start off 2020 right then Thursday, it's our season 12 finale. So pick up a points multiplier right now if you still need to up your levels and earn those free passes on questions. It makes all games easier to win, so why not? That finale is going to be a great time on the main game at 9 o'clock on Thursday. <laughs> all right, team. We do a pregame warm-up on Twitter at HQ Sports. That's where you can find us. With 2019 coming to an end, I want to know what your favorite sports moment of the year was. Let's find out. At JLVB19 says, Tiger winning the Masters. I'd have to agree with you on that one. That was a spectacular moment. At QB Expert Chicago says, Naomi Osaka consoling Coco Goff at the U.S. Open. Yes, what a moment that was. Love to see it. And then you got at Gman6448 says, winning a game of HQ Sports. Hope to finish strong like the Bengals with a second win. Ah, oh, I gotta love your enthusiasm there. Yes, this is actually everyone's last chance at an HQ Sports win in 2019. Let me say it again so it sinks in. Your last chance for an HQ Sports win is happening mere seconds from now. I think you all have what it takes. You've, pre you've been preparing for this all year for this very moment. Don't let me down, team. Now, for the final time in 2019, here we go. Round one starts right now. Who scored the opening and ultimately winning goal at this year's FIFA Women's World Cup Final? Megan Rapino, Alex Morgan, or Carly Lloyd? You should know this one. If you watched, that is, this year, it was always Rapino. The Ballon d'Or winner had both goals in the quarterfinal win over France and the first in the final. Megan Rapino, 21,608 of you could put your phones down for a second and do the Rapino. You can't really see it. My arms go off the screen. I tried my best. Before we move on to round number two, it's your absolute last chance to win a game of HQ Sports before year's end. How many games have you won this year? Let me know in the chat right now. If it's none, don't worry, you still have time. Right now, that is. Extra lives can help you get there. You can use multiple per game, and they never expire. So you can use them here. You can use them on other games at HQ as well. All right, round number two. Let's go. Naomi Osaka won the first Grand Slam of 2019 in what country? USA, England, or Australia? Ooh, you got to know your timing. you got to know your schedules. With this question... The first Grand Slam of every season is always the Australian Open. And look at that. Takes place in Australia. Wow. All right. This was a tougher one. 13,533 of you guessed it correctly, but we lost over 17,000 of you here at round number two. I see a lot of you jumping back in. I bet you all have your free passes for round two. Let's get into round number three. What NFL team benefited from a missed pass interference call that led to a 2019 rule change? Rams, Patriots, Saints. That was a long one to get out in 10 seconds. The pass interference mess this past year took one team all the way to the Super Bowl. But take a look at this moment. Roby Coleman delivered a hit that Saints fans have still not recovered from and led the Rams to the Super Bowl. Should have been the Saints. They're still saying it. Rams is your answer. 20,016 of you getting that one. And, you know, they let us watch the most boring Super Bowl of all time. But listen, now coaches can challenge the no call. So small victory? Maybe. Round four. Where did Howie Kendrick's World Series Game 7 home run land? Upper deck, offered boxes, or foul pole?
The Crawford boxes make for a lot of short homers in left field in Houston, but Howie went oppo, knocking one off the right field foul pole to put the Nats in position for their first title. Foul pole is your answer here. 12,136 of you getting that one right. It was a little bit more recent, so I do feel like you should remember that one. Let's see what we got on deck with round five. On this play, what defender almost blocks Kawhi Leonard's miracle shot? Is this the tiger? Such a good one to watch, but I'm looking for what defender almost blocks that shot. Is it Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris? It's the iconic Kawhi series winner that bounced four times before deciding to actually go in. And while Ben Simmons was originally assigned to Kawhi, it was Joel Embiid who ran out and came closest to stopping it. Close, but no cigar. That one in. Joel Embiid is your answer. 19,715 of you getting that one right. That might be the image of 2019. What do you think? Let me know in the chat if you got one better. Round six. Before this year's Masters, what was the last major won by Tiger Woods? The U.S. Open, the British Open, and the PGA Championship. When Tiger took an extra day to defeat Rocco Mediate on basically one working leg, no one could have predicted his next major would come 11 years later. Let's take it back to that moment in 2008. There he is, that tiger we love. That was the U.S. Open in 2008. Can you believe that? 8,009, oh, 8,093 of you getting that one right. Wow, losing over 17,000, over 18,000 of you here at round number six. You better get back in here because we have our first prize question coming up right now. If you can get this one right, I'm going to be making you an offer that you could either accept and end the game early or you can choose to play on to the grand prize. Round seven. In this year's biggest boxing upset, who did Andy Ruiz Jr. defeat? Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, or Anthony Joshua? For the first time, with 22 wins and zero losses, Anthony Joshua came to the U.S. to fight. He probably wishes that he didn't, though. Joshua lost to the 15-1 underdog Ruiz by means of TKO. Oh, Anthony Joshua hit with that one. 13,602 of you. Nope, you dodged it. You knew that one while we lost over 7,000 of you here. Well, it did hit midnight recently for Cinderella because Joshua won his title back in a December rematch. All right. Looks like I'm going to be offering 81 points to 13,602 players. You can choose to take those points and end the game. Points or coins, Ellen? Points. Choose to take those points and be a winner or play on for more points and more dollar bill opportunities. Let's see what you all chose. 81 points. Take it or leave it. Let's see what you're going to pick. Oh, 3,884 of you are choosing to take the points and be our first winners of the night. Congratulations. Wild fingers. Rare. See you there. Um, yeah, congrats. We're going to take a little pause in our game for our seventh round stretch. You know what time it is. I looked through all of your tweets at all of those top sports moments of 2019, and two of them just kept coming up, so I'm going to consider it a tie. I present to you your two favorite moments of 2019, the U.S. Women's National Team taking the World Cup, and then this moment right here. Oh, yes, the St. Louis Blues taking home the Stanley Cup. Play Gloria! Do-do-do, do-do-do. What a year it was. Round eight. Before winning the Heisman for LSU, where did Joe Burrow play? Arkansas, Ohio State, or Nebraska? Burrow always wanted to play for Nebraska, but they didn't think he was good enough. Not out of high school and not when he transferred out of Ohio State. 
Hey, nice call, LSU. Ohio State is your answer. 11,985 of you getting that one right. And if you liked questions like this, well, we'll be talking LSU and more for our college football-themed game Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Gotta love a plug. Round number nine. Here we go. Who did Damian Lillard eliminate with a long buzzer beater in this year's playoffs? Thunder, Jazz, or Rockets? Come on, I know you remember this one, too. It's not all about Kawhi's shot, right? This shot was so deep and so devastating that it knocked Paul George and Russell Westbrook out of OKC entirely. You remember it. Here it is. Take a look. Oh, yes. The Thunder left the playoffs and their stars left town as Dame waved bye-bye on his way to the Western Conference Finals. Thunder is your answer. 9,259 of you feel the thunder on this one. You got... Two questions left until our next prize question. Let's see if you can hang in there. It's round number 10. What quarterback opened this year with a five touchdown game and a perfect passer rating? Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, or Russell Wilson? Sure, it was against the Dolphins. And sure, you think of him running before you think of him passing. But Lamar announced his MVP candidacy in game one with a statistically perfect game. Lamar Jackson, 5,971 of you selecting the correct quarterback here. He's going to be awfully fun to watch in the playoffs, right? Looking forward to them. Looking forward to Ellen's team. You're the Bills, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she likes the Bills. All right. Round 11 is coming up, and it's our next prize question. Here we go. If you get this one right, I'm going to be making you another offer. You know the drill. Here's the question. Round 11. What fighter registered the fastest knockout in UFC history this year? Nate Diaz, Donald Cerrone, or Jorge Masvidal? Ah, oh, it was the TKO we've all been Askren for. Arumts. With one big flying knee. Well, you'll see it for yourself. Oh, now that's down and out for the count. Yes, the quickest work days Masvidal had. Um, with a record five-second knockout there. Jorge Masvidal is your answer. 4,931 of you getting that one right. I think it was even quicker than five seconds. But I do think... We take second place with our 10-second TKO, right? Right? All right. I'm offering 305 points to 4,931 of you who got that one right. Think about it. Think if you want to end the game an early winner, or you can choose to decline the prize and move on to the grand prize. Only a few questions away. We're going to 15 tonight. All right, it looks like 1,082 of you are taking 305 points home, and you are our next early winners of the night. Congratulations. Siege, I see you there, my friend, smiling like the winner you are. All right, let's get right back into it. It's round 12. Why was the initially announced winner of the 2019 Kentucky Derby disqualified? Failed drug test, illegal block, or false start? For the first time ever, the Derby ended in a DQ. Maxi maximum security finished ahead of Country House, but apparently wasn't secure enough. Maximum security was found to have illegally blocked a different horse, leading to the disqualification. Illegal block, 4,633 of you knew that one. Nice and easy there for you. I see over 1,200 of you who got knocked out are using those extra lives right now. Come on back in here. You got time. You got a couple rounds left. You could do it. You know 2019 sports. Here it is, round 13. What team overcame the greatest deficit in the UEFA Champions League semifinals? Tottenham, Barcelona, or Liverpool? There 
There were two insane comebacks in the semis this year. Tottenham needed three goals in the second half of the second game to make the finals, and they got it. But Liverpool got four to overtake Barcelona. The biggest semifinal comeback in 33 years, baby. Liverpool is your answer. 3,807 of you getting that one right. Mm-hmm. I see 1,500 of you jumping back in the game. We have two questions left. Round 14. Which of these Astros did not hit a walk-off homer against the Yankees in the ALCS? Alex Bregman, Jose Altuve, or Carlos Correa? All right, I'm just going to say this now. Um, this series was not my favorite of 2019, especially when Altuve walked the Yanks all the way out of the playoffs. Bregman was the only man to give Trout a run for the MVP, but he didn't have a walk-off bomb in this particular series. Alex Bregman is the answer. Ooh, catching, catching a lot of you thinking it was Carlos Correa. No, 2,338 of you getting that one right. I don't know why he didn't have a walk-off. Maybe he couldn't hear the trash can? Hmm. All right, to over 2,000 of you and 2,500 of you jumping back in the game right now, this is your absolute last opportunity to use those extra lives. It's the final round. It all comes down to this. All of that sports knowledge from 2019. This is the final game of HQ Sports for the year. Do you have what it takes to be a champion? Let's find out. Round 15. Which 2019 championship series took the fewest games to complete? The World Series, the Stanley Cup Finals, or the NBA Finals? All coming down to this. In every one of these series, the underdog won. The Blues beat the Bruins in seven. The Nats beat the Astros in seven. While the Raptors took down the Warriors in six. NBA Finals is your final answer, and we have 2,107 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! Congratulations! We have 2,107 winners, our final champions, our final MVPs of 2019. Way to end the year with a win. That means you're going to start the year on the right foot. Jay Rush, 10. I see you there, Braves fan. AP Non. All right. Is that a, a dirt bike helmet? A snowboarding helmet? I don't know. Mark B. Soul. All right. Polly won a game. 47 cents coming your way. I see a Yankees fan down there. Mr. Bitterness. Yeah, me too. But don't worry. This year's going to be a new year. Uh-huh. We got coal for Christmas. That's kind of nice. Homer, 848. 48 cents is coming your way as well. Congratulations. Everyone taking home 47 or 48 cents. That's amazing. What a game. Congrats again to our MVPs. Way to close out the year and HQ Sports champion. I'll be here with bells on on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Join me for some college football trivia. You've been asking for it, so let's do it. Don't forget, on top of that, our season finale is Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the main game, HQ Trivia. All right, now I have a rolling list of New Year's resolutions to write, starting with an unfortunate one. I have to befriend some Boston fans. I'll get there. But until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head on the game.